Hey guys, it's your boy Sarah Ken here. Hope you're doing alright. So, today, one quick video, okay? And the video will be about exclusive. You know, there's a lot, uh, there, there, there has been a lot of talks in the gaming street about exclusive, what an exclusive is, what time exclusive, and blah blah blah. But my video today, okay, one quick video, will be quite different from what all people been saying about exclusives, okay? Uh, that video is more like about which type of exclusive should brag about okay and i think we all all of us already knows what an exclusive unless you're an xbox fanboy these day the word exclusive might irritate you a little bit because all the microsoft all microsoft does now is bringing their game to pc is it a good thing probably somehow more people get to play games but at the same time i would I hate to see that uh, <clears throat> games like Uncharted end up, end up on PC because I bought my PS4 for that. I bought my PS4 for those PlayStation first party game. At the same time, I don't care that third party games going to PC. That's cool. I don't care that more people getting to play third party games, but I bought my console so I can play great first party exclusive. And I will I hate to see Sony... <clears throat> trying okay to to make some extra cash by distribute the game on other brand you know what i mean so the video today will be some type of advice telling people which type of uh, exclusive they should brag about i mean first thing first third party exclusive deals these type of game even if they only release them in your console in your brand you should never and i say never brags about them okay the exclusive you should brag about should be second party exclusive meaning the your brand of choice own those ip it paid they paid for those ips so those ips ain't going anywhere or <clears throat> your first party exclusive games games like uncharted kill zone okay um infamous those games ain't going on pc they owned by Sony. They was made by so studios owned by Sony. So they always will be PlayStation games. Or uh, second party exclusive. The Order 186, Until Done, um, Detroit Becoming Human. Those games are from third parties. There's a deal between them and Sony, but Sony owned those IPs. They weren't going anywhere. The problem lies when people start to brag about third party exclusive okay most of the time and <clears throat> playstation gamers are guilty of it too okay most of the time there's a third party exclusive game on their console and they start to brag about it because they want to make the other side look bad they want to make xbox fan looks bad they want to make nintendo fan look bad they want to show the middle finger to the fucking master race but in the end anything can happen because Sony or Microsoft or whatever the brand is don't own that IP. That third-party company can decide to bring that game on another platform. And in the end, you the one who look down. So don't brag about third-party exclusive deal. Just don't, okay? And <clears throat> there's a lot of example about this uh, already. Games like uh, Rocket League, PlayStation Gamers. Uh, that, that was a huge hit on the PlayStation side. People was bragging, making fun of the Xbox fan. Doesn't matter. Now the game is on Xbox. Outlast. Same shit. Dragon Quest Zero. Came out in Japan for PlayStation only. <clears throat> came out on the West for PlayStation only. Now the game on PC. Is it still a PlayStation exclusive? No, because Square Enix owned the IP. And they do whatever the fuck they want with it. Don't brag about third party exclusive. Plus, there's a lot of amazing second and, second and first party exclusive on your console already like i said unless you're on xbox the word exclusive don't bother you okay so it doesn't matter brag about uncharted and in the future we'll be able to brag maybe about uh, god of war 4 we'll be able to brag about uh, sony band new games okay this game horizon zero down um the last guardian why i made that video it's because uh my man brandon Rebo made a video about um a game like Nier Automata, a game that 
I'm looking forward for. But I won't overhype that game as it will always be a PlayStation exclusive. Why? Because it first, it's from Platinum Games. Okay? And we all know that Platinum Games prefer Microsoft over PlayStation, over Sony. Okay? They came out last year themselves and saying that <clears throat> they were, uh, for them, Bayonetta was an Xbox exclusive. Why? That game was 60 FPS on Xbox. Something on 19 on PS3. Okay? Meanwhile, that game sell better and they're better on PlayStation. And as proof that they don't give a flying shit about PlayStation brand, a game like uh, Vanquish was 60 FPS on both platforms. Xbox 360 and PS3. Same for Metal Gear Revengeance. So, they could have made Bayonetta 60 FPS if they had any respect for us, the PlayStation gamers. So now, Platinum Games, it's behind near Automata. I will buy that game because I'm waiting for that game. But I won't overhype that game as it was a PlayStation exclusive. Plus, the company who's going to publish the game, it's Square Enix. So, for me, one company who don't give a flying shit about my brand now making the game. And another company who already bring all the game that was supposed to be exclusive to other platform. Don't overhype it. That shit. As if. It was a first party or a second part uh, or a second party exclusive, guys. Just enjoy whatever the game you are. You, you, I mean, just enjoy whatever the game you want to enjoy, but don't overhype third party deals, because those guys can turn around and bring that game to Xbox, bring that game to PC, even bring that game to the next Nintendo console. Is it a problem? No, absolutely not. But don't look dumb by saying, "Oh, we're getting that game. That game is exclusive." No, man. Brags about, you know. What you know, what we mean exclusive to your brand. Like I said, unless you're an Xbox fanboy, the word exclusive shouldn't bother you at all. It was your boy Sarah Kenny, I'm out. Bye bye. Bonsoir Lizzy, tu couches avec elle ou avec moi Elle va bien, on va bien. Je n'ai pas envie de parler d'elle.